Okay. We are live. Let me grab my phone real quick. Okay. So... Once she gets back, I will detail the exits to this room. I'm going to go ahead and take my vitamins real quick. Okay. Reject your call, Jimmy, and you can call someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's trying to be nice, but it's like, no, no, number one, I'm trying to get out of this cut scene. I don't need you. <laughs> do like you right now. And then the other thing is also that I just don't like your name. Yep. So, so, you back? Yeah. Okie dokie. So, the exits to this room. There is a archway on the north wall, a wooden door straight ahead on the west wall, namely this door over here is wood, uh -huh. archway up, north, up top, and then we've got a portcullis, wood. And a iron door in the middle of the hall, of the middle, in the middle of the wall. Uh, do you want to try the archway first? Yeah, yeah, nice well. I mean, it's the easiest one to go through, so I guess start with easy, work out. Yep. Okay. Let me find the room. Move you guys to it and it's like, yay, black screen. Oh yeah, this is, in point of fact, a empty room. Oh. Oh, yay. I'll take empty. <laughs> yep. It is an empty room. First one in the entire dungeon. Oh, that's nice. Relaxing, I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, let's leave. <laughs> yeah, it's just like this is this does not bode well. Like Alright, so besides the archway, there is in this room there is a uh you do notice a cut there's a kind of a little mushroom forest in the corn there's like a little mushroom field in the corner. Uh here. Did it look like edible mushrooms? There's one way to find it out. <laughs> okay, I'll take the druid. Okay. Yeah, what does Cory try to do? Can you get a closer look at them? Sure. Candy, what are these? Uh, mushrooms. I realize that. Let's hide them. Can I make a poison with them? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 
This is the question. Important question. This is a very important question. No, um, no. You put something potentially poisonous in front of a road, and you didn't think to check if you wanted to make the poisonous or not. I see how this is. Yeah, I I was just reading off the the randomly generated thing, and I thought it was cool. But hilariously enough, despite that, like that, it's saying the area of fungus it has on the room features also. On the northwest wall, right there by the mushrooms, essentially, some there's um, a little scritching in goblin runes, and no one reads got no one can read goblin, so I'm just gonna tell y'all what it says, anyways, <laughs> because I think it's hilarious. Okay. No secret door here. <laughs> And a pile of iron spikes on the floor. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. If anyone in the group could read Secret Door, that read Goblin, that would make it very suspicious. <laughs> like, um, I can cast tongues on myself. Does that apply to reading different languages? And understand any spoken language. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a speaking thing, not a. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. Like, yeah. Sure. You know, I have a, I have one use. I'm gonna use. Find traps. Okay. There are so no I traps can... in this okay. room. What about in the 120 feet around me? Hold on. Will you, mouse, behave? Yeah, if we wanted to read, we would need comprehend languages. Yeah. Mm. Okay, um, you can vaguely sense at the very edge of your awareness in the previous room a trap. Oh. It's just barely... Just barely in range. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and mark that trap. Okay. Yeah, it's the middle door in the wall. On the east wall. Oh. I'm going to do something weird slash stupid. Okay. Just because I can, I'm going to take some of the mushrooms. I'm going to cut them off, stick them in my bag. <laughs> okay. I can get them identified later. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. While you're getting the f pick, uh, while you're gathering up the fungus, you do notice a. 
familiar looking indentation in the floor of that is kind of a telltale of a secret door being frequently opened. There's the writing that I can't read nearby. Yep. Well, uh, obviously there's something strong in the wall. That's suspicious. How do you find a secret door? It's like, hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, nothing else about the mushrooms. Nothing else now, right now. <laughs> you really want to know if you can get high off these things, don't you? No. <laughs> I want to make a poison too. <laughs> I've got an alchemy kit. Ah. If you're not careful, I will make this like cactus juice. You say that like it's a threat. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess. We know around. someone in the party who would have. who would have eaten the mushrooms. So you need to think this through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess I will take a closer look at the walls. Like, I'm, I'm being generous and not having her do that. <laughs> okay, well, well, I was also talking about Tizius. Yep. Or, um, <laughs> or, uh, Tizius. Oh, Booth here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. So there's that not so secret wooden door. There's not that not so secret door. Hi. All right. I'm assuming once I figure out that there's something there, it's easy to find. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the shot. Someone yep. scrawled something on the wall, and there's a secret door. I wonder what the scrawl is. Yeah. Okay. Give me just a second. <laughs> Oh, hail the almighty Sushi Burrito. And open the secret door. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, it does seem a little bit hard to open, like pushing on, like just pushing on it like they normally would isn't working. He said he a stack. Okay. Pick up the crowbar. Use that. Okay. I'll help. Extra <laughs> long. Go ahead and roll a strength check. With assistance. So. And add four. Okay, it really wants it to be a nine. <laughs> okay. All right, 
Feral five twice. Okay. Is your wow. strength modifier zero? Yep. Okay then. Um, I'm a rogue. Why do I need to be strong? <laughs> All right. Also, um, may I remind you, I'm like five wood. Uh, thing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it moves about an inch. <clears throat> okay. Inches an inch. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to do this the hard way. Like. Uh, and Ayana's just like, you guys want some help? I can try. Yes. <laughs> okay. So she's gonna. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. She's going to. Kinda. She's gonna hit on the thing and with a little bit of grunting and effort gets it open. And going into this hallway, back to there. So, there's a trap in the metal door. Yeah. <clears throat> and I put y'all in the wrong room. Hold on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Put y'all in the wrong room. Okay. Alright. So, the... Because the fun part is this hallway, actually, I don't have in any map. So there is a, well, I do actually have it in a map. It's just, uh, hold on. Okay then. Just a second <laughs> while there I. There are new free dice on Roll20, or, uh, mm -hmm. not Roll20, uh, d, d Beyond. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's pull up this time. Potion bottles. Ooh. Specifically healing potion bottles. Yep. Since this wacko room is this wacko map is the only one that's got the hallway on it. All right, you might have to zoom all the way out, but and we're in this room, you said. Yes. I'm about to move y'all's icons over there. Boop. So, down this hallway on the side here, the first left turn goes to a wooden door that is locked. Oh, 
Sure, mate. Well, can I see the lock? Yeah. Uh, 32. Oh yeah, that that clicks like like you had an actual key. <laughs> and where does it lead us? Back into the room and back back, back into the other room. Yep. I hate the circular nature of this place. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was more hallway there. More hallway. Before that, after that turn. So. Yeah. Get back there and try again. Yep. Alright. Um, at the end of the hallway, there is a wooden door. A little stuck, but it is not locked. Just stuck. Do we burn it or do we burn it? <laughs> Yep. Sounds like a plan. Alright, bear with me a moment. While I put you guys in the right room. Boop. So, he lands a dragon. Have we been in this room? Mm. No, I just haven't put y'all in the correct room. <laughs> in this map, on this part of the map. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> Fear not, you haven't lost your mind yet. Emphasis on yet. Yep. The circular nature of this place has not yet driven us insane. Yep. Okay, we'll soon, but not yet. Yep. Is it too late to apologize for putting you guys up against my players and my one shot? <laughs> Are you afraid? It seems like it is. <laughs> I mean, at least these guys don't have an orb of silence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I realized I forgot to take out the fire elemental sites. I'm like, oh no, I forgot that. I need that. Okay, I am about to riot over here. Can't find the right map? No, it's not letting me move Chule. Oh. Even though I have her selected. And you have it on select and move. Yes. Hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to select the rest of us. <laughs> yep. Is 
yeah, I go to clicker and it just goes into the select. All right, letting me move Ayana. So, all right. So once this door is out of the way, effectively. Uh -huh. We are face to face with a mind flayer. I see two on the top. Oh yeah, there's just one immediately right in front of us when we get into this, when we get through this door. And he has backed up a little bit because of the fire. Oh, yes, that ends the round, any hope of negotiations. Yeah. Roll for initiative. <laughs> yep. Let's roll the nine on this guy. Ooh, I like that. Good not initial. bad, not bad. Okay. That's going to be an 18 for Elwood. <clears throat> Considering the pressure that was on that die. Uh-huh. All right. So. Considering it is brand new. Yep. <clears throat> okay. That's for Chile. And that's for Candy. And then for the two mind flares. Okay. So candy is a 12. Anahita? 23. Okay. <clears throat> and so 16 plus 5 is 21. Okay, why aren't you? There we go. It was okay. It's being it's being stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, specifically it disconnected from Patreon and uh. was being weird and changed my the URL for the player view. Anyways, oh, that's stupid. yeah. Okay. 
Anahita is top of the round. All right. Uh, first thing is yeah, I think I'm going to summon my Fire Emblem buddy. Okay. I'll summon right on top of the guy in front of me. Okay. He can deal with And then I am going to, yeah, throw a dagger so that he won't get access to us. That just sucks. I highly doubt a 13 is going to hit. Unfortunately, no. Go ahead and roll initiative for the Myrmidon. Oh, very nice. Uh, that would be a 24. Nice. That's 20. <laughs> nice. So in that case, I'm going to have him go, go ahead and let him have a turn before I skip to Ayana. Okay. Like, what number is that? I can't see. <laughs> okay, that's a 16 hit. Yes. Yes, alright. That means the next 16 is going to hit. <clears throat> so the one is 5 regular damage and then 10 fire. Ow. Nice. And the other one is three regular damage and eight fire. Okay. Nice. So first attack was one fire, one regular ten fire. Um. No. Yeah. 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 And the second attack was three regular eight fire. Okay. All right. Anything else? Sadly, that's all he can do. Okay. <laughs> I wish. His last attack was a natural two. I'm like, there's no way that's hitting. Yeah. My net. <clears throat> So yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I got something in between my teeth. Okay. Ayana is going to come into the room, slip by candy, <coughs> and stop right there, draw her sword, and okay. 
and no one is going to to going to hit. Okay. Sword hits, shield does not. There are worse things. With her stabby, she t does 10 points damage. <coughs> and then she's going to use her bonus action to summon up her spiritual weapon. It's going to punch the other guy. Not the one that's in front of her, but the other guy. Okay. All right. And that is her turn. Owen. Well, since they're handling this guy, mm -hmm. he's got covered. Give me just a second. It's been a while since I've had a Superman. Forgot how sweet it is. I'm going to move to here, I think, mm -hmm. is where I mark. <clears throat> and I'm going to take aim with my crossbow. Mm -hmm. Where are my actions? There they are. Um, first one misses. The second hit is a 20. Hit. A dirty 20. That hit. Oh. For max damage, for 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, that's going to be my turn for right now. Because I believe I have already burned. Yeah, I have. All right. Actually, so, so yeah, that's my turn. Too late. Is going to hop onto, hop across onto the my players shoulder and go numb. <laughs> she is just gonna bite the shit out of him on the neck. She does ten points of damage. And that is Chule's turn. Give me just a second.
so. Okay. All right. Owen and Ayana need to make a intelligence saving throw. Oh, fun. Boo, you traitor. 17. Passes. Makes up for the fact that Ayana is now stunned. Could be worse. And has taken 22 points of psychic damage. Could be worse. How many temporary hit points did she have? She had nine. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. And what is his movement? Okay. And he's going to move right, 15, 20, 30. And he's going to move into melee with you. Candy is going to Making sure that I did my half right there. She's going to move to help you. And Oof. Drop that it. just that just eighty six my plan. <laughs> Fine. Sorry. I won't do that. <laughs> hmm, let me think. I think I know why. <laughs> Okay. I mean, he came up right in my grill, <laughs> and I want to keep him at arm's length without and you're a bard. taking an attack of opportunity. And you're a bard. <laughs> yep. So I look at Candy, I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> what? Okay. Did have a plan on how I was going to handle this guy. And she just sticks her tongue out at you. I will grab your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> and that's her turn. All right. This guy is going to try and get Chule off of his shoulder. Manages and throws her across the room. Ooh. Well, rats are sturdy. They can take a fall. Yep. This will be fun. Yeah. He actually throws her towards you, Anahita. And... The impact does, um, well, doesn't do much damage because he threw her into the ashes, but she does take a little bit of damage. Oh. Ugh, rude. And that is his turn. Fire guy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a fire font. Oh yes. Guess you can do flaming strikes again. I yes. Mean, it recharges. Yay. <laughs> Oh, yikes. Oh, man. Anything else for him? That is going to be it for him. Right. My turn. We're going to have some fun. Okay. I am going to cast Misty Step. Oh, okay. God. And I'm going to switch over to Select. Pop over here. Grab Candy and basically go. We're popping up for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we're casting Thunderstep. <laughs> okay. Um, is that going to affect me? I can use Careful Spell. That's the best part of this. You get to pass automatically, and I can actually pull Candy with me. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you take a creature your size or smaller. <laughs> uh-huh. So where are y'all thunder stepping to? Step pop back over here. Okay. So Thank I will, you, Anaheda. I will move Candy <laughs> over there. And um, what's the damage on thunder step? And what's the saving throw? on it. It is a constitution 15. Okay. Unfortunately, he gets a 15. Well, 
19 thunder damage. All right. Very nice. That already halved or that the na the natural on That's it? That's before. Okay. Nineteen divided by two. Nine points of damage. Okay. And you know what the best thing is? <laughs> I'm still not done. <laughs> okay. And Here can I do the short sword? Okay. That is a twenty-three to hit. Okay. For five for five damage. Okay. On the Thunderstrap yeah. guy or the guy in front of you? Nope, the guy in front of me. Basically, after she popped back out, it's like, woo, the sword. Yep. Okay. And what was the damage again? Nine. Nine? Yeah. And sneak attack because he's, like, surrounded. <laughs> and I also popped out of the air next to him. <laughs> yep. Nineteen. Okay. Guess what? He's dead. He's dead. Like, guess what? He's dead. <laughs> and now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ayana is going to move right just right over here. Oh. Too close, too close, too close, too close. <laughs> Are you planning on thunder waving? I just waving? did all that fun. I just did all that fun to clear the space. <laughs> really? Okay, then she's just gonna move yeah, down. Yeah, I was gonna be like, ah, too close, too close. Am I still too close? <laughs> As she moves to the... Yeah. <laughs> Twenty feet. Well, guess what? She still has movement, so. <laughs> She's like, if you're not careful, I will blast you with this spell myself. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Maybe get out of melee range. No, maybe get out of range before you make that threat. <laughs> because if you're in range, I will be trying to see to hit you. She's casting Sacred Flame at the Mind Flayer. And does 17 points of damage. Because he fails to, fail to save. And then she's going to step back. Is that better? <laughs> yes, that is better. She's also going to have her uh, spiritual weapon, which is still up, move and punch the shit out of him. Because punch. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Ooh, max damage! Yay! Yay! Eight plus four is twelve. And that is her turn. Elwyn. He's going to turn to the mind flare after telling her that she's good. <laughs> And say, sorry, friend, but you're way too close for comfort. <laughs> Roll me a con save. <laughs> that is a uh, that is a 
That is a five. <laughs> <laughs> then that is 4d8 thunder damage. Nice. For a total of 16. Okay. Um, how far does he get flung back? 10 feet. Okay. And Eagle Splat. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I also must say, he's probably not going to be lasting much longer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That thunder wave splatted him. All right. And um, really quick. Before we go any further, as I say, uh, someone close. Uh, Elwyn is fifty-three points away from. Oh. oh. Leveling up. Okay, so they are trying. Yes. Yeah. Give me just a second. Update your information on the initiative list here in just a second. All right, I would go ahead and refresh your page, Rachel. Yeah, did you add the uh, the XP yet on mine? Yes, go ahead and refresh your page. Okay, because it's still showing my old XP. But it's showing me as a level 7 battle master. Okay. Hold that spot. I'm going to go. Is it showing everything correctly on my page? Uh, 
and I've refreshed it like 10 times now, and it's still showing my old XP. Oh, XP. Yeah, you think? Maybe just maybe D D is glitching. I don't know. I don't freaking know. But this is getting really frustrating. Well, everything's correct on my side, so Well how much XP was it? 1631 Yep. <sighs> Either way. Weird as this is. All right, so the ex the other exit of this room is a iron door off the side here. Okay, yay! It's showing my new XP finally. Okay. And I have new maneuvers. Yay! <laughs> At least I, yeah, okay. <laughs> so the, uh, this door over here is iron unlocked and yeah, I'm not gonna include that when you go to open it nothing happens huh. Huh. Onwards. Onwards. And this leads into this leads into a slightly winding hallway. Give me just a second. And 
and I will get you guys moved there. The hallway dead ends into a door that is made out of wood. It has kind of a weird purple look to it. It takes a little bit of effort uh, with the mage hand to get it open, but it does open. And I got you Since guys. I'm long rested. Do I get um? Since I've been long rested, do I get fine traps back? Yeah. Is it well? Well, is it once oh, per day, or is it once per day, or per long rest? I think it's once per day. Mm. Okay. Because if it's once per long rest, then yes. But if it's per day, no. Well, it doesn't say. Well, you have it with your dagger? Yeah. Then it's uh one then have you used all four spot of four all of the dagger spell slots? Not all of them. I haven't used, um, I haven't used scrying. Okay. Let me double check. There's one way to double check. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, per day. Okay. But I haven't used crying. But you know what? Nothing's happened yet, so. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yep. So, um,. Either way, um, after you finally get the door, after your mage hand finally gets the door open, you'll be stuck. (laughs) 
you see a rather large, kind of blue looking dude sitting in the center of the room on a cushion. He's just sitting in the middle of the room. Hi. Okay. Does he look angry? <laughs> uh, not really. Sorry for intruding. <laughs> you know, as one boosted person to another. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And he just looks at you and quirks an eyebrow. Who is it getting awkward fast? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, reason why you're in the room all by yourself, floating in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> This is one of those. This, hilariously enough, his languages are listed as Oren. No common. He doesn't okay. understand a word you're saying. <laughs> okay, we'll try a different method. <laughs> I'm going to cast Tongue on. Myself and translate for her. Do you think it would be better if I tried primordial? No. No, maybe. Yeah. Where the hell? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I cast tongues on myself and translate for her. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> kind of sizes everyone up and is just like, hmm. While that's going on, because it takes at least a minute. Yeah. I am going to use Know Your Enemy. Mm-hmm. He is not hostile. Why are you here? I was locked in. By whom and why? <laughs> I mean, those are two best questions. By whom and why? Why does anyone imprison a djinn? Because they want wishes? Hmm. Because they're assholes. I can think of many reasons to imprison someone. Because they stole from you. <laughs> I'm not going to translate that. <laughs> I have no personal experience with the latter. <laughs> sure you don't. That's good at my job. Namely, and not getting caught. I will say nothing, or I will incriminate myself. Mmm. So, uh, yeah. That still doesn't answer the 
question two. Is it the cultists? I really don't like the cultists, so I, I, I would love it if they were the ones. Was it the cultists or the mind players? Neither. Hmm. I've been here for a while. I guess I have another set of questions again. <laughs> there are mind flayers here. Yes, lots of them. Hmm. And cultists. Drow cultists. And drow cultists. Yes. Thralls of the mind flayers. One can only assume. That was my assessment as well. It's been a while since I've dealt with Illithid. Do not recommend. So is there a way to release you? Leave the door open. We can do that. But I do recommend leaving as soon as possible. Noted. Would you like anything in return for setting me free? No. I mean, looks Do you want anything? I'm good. Candy just busts out. Do you have cake? Really? You're using it up. Like, 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 I want cake! I haven't had cake in a while. Yeah. <sighs> it seems our druid friend here wants some cake. <laughs> an odd request but and he waves a hand and a whole ass cake plops in Candy's hands yum that looks wanted and she just tucks in and the gin goes poof Okay. <sighs> Continuing on. Yep. As a prize for rescuing him, you do get experience from the encounter. I am immensely pleased with the cop for just the idea of uh, he was just sitting there babbling away as he's just looking at her like what the heck? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. It's one of those, some gins speak common, but uh, that particular one does not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's just sitting there thinking, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Until the translation comes. And there are no exits to this room, so. Obviously. That's the only exit. It's kind of hard to imprison someone if there's exits, so, uh. Yep. Shall we go back? Yeah. yeah. Doubling back.
into that room. And all things considered, I can keep y'all on this particular page of the map. Annoying at all. Okay. All right. So, which room do we want to go to? It's the one. Which one? It's the one. Okay. I mean, there are doors in there that haven't been opened yet. Yep. One of which is trapped. Mm -hmm. Was I able to ascertain what kind of trap it was? It was barely in, it was barely close enough for you to, when you did the spell, for you to be able to tell that there was even a trap there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. My spells haven't lied to me yet. Alright. Are there any signs of a physical trap there, or does it look like there's nothing there? Like a spell trap? Well, there aren't any markings on the door. So it's a physical trap. Made out of? Uh, it is made out of iron. Do we all want to move away from it and try mage hands? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of Very much. Dumb bot. And she'll move here. Okay. To shield myself. <laughs> okay. Wow, your confidence is overwhelming. <laughs> it's not my confidence that's the issue. I don't trust what this trap may be capable of. Yeah. Alright, I'll give Spiky back. I'm pretty good. I can't move too much farther back and still do baby yet. So I'm gonna stay there. Yep. See if I can fiddle with the candle and hit it open. Okay. Um. I'm barring that. It's still locked. Yeah. I mean, it's not locked, it's just kind of stuck. Better. But yeah, a um a block falls off of the ceiling onto the mage hand. Which does absolutely nothing because Mage hand. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Does it look like there, can I look up and see if there's more there loose? Or if it's just the one? It looks like there's, like, I, 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 like, weirdly enough, it looks like there's no blocks in this missing from the ceiling in, in the first place. Despite there being a block from the ceiling on the floor. I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> you 
he hooked his foot under the on the tray table. <laughs> Trying to keep me from being able to pick him up. Alright. Well, I don't trust this bully. Like, I'm hey, Yuki Butt. Say hi to everyone on stream. Okay, I'll put you down. Good. It's gonna be weird. Can I climb to the ceiling and take a better look up there? Sure! <laughs> I mean, Grab my climbing gear. I was about to say, do you got climbing gear, so... I have a lot of climbing gear. I have the kit and I have like a ton of other stuff too. I can climb anything. <sighs> Alright, so once I'm further up, can I get a better look at the ceiling there? See what's going on? Mm hmm. Roll an investigation check. <laughs> okay. It's a ceiling. With mysteriously reappearing rocks. There's probably magic in them. In fact, <laughs> Can I would guarantee. shout that from the hallway. There's probably magic involved! Okay. Well. I have no idea what's going on. Don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to be even weirder. Like, I'm not weird already. What was the ceiling, especially? Yep. Can I move away from where it looks like the block kind of fell from? Yeah. But still stay up there and use Mage Hand again to try and fiddle with the door? Yeah. And kind of watching the ceiling. Yeah. As your Mage Hand attempts again to open the door, another block falls from the exact same spot, clacks onto the other one. And as you're watching, a block actually slides into the empty spot. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Like, that's annoying. That's going to be difficult. And it's one of those surely the, and like and candy pipes up. Maybe there's a way to stop it from dropping rocks on us. Yeah. Question is how do I want to do this? <laughs> like the not smarter part of me is like, do it again and see if the gap is big enough that you can slide it and get on the other side of the trap to try and disable it. So the 
<laughs> like looking at this at this particular thing it's just like yeah Candy looks around and is like, ooh, there's a hole in the wall. Yes, put your hand in the hole. And exactly what, what does she here. do? What does she do? Put her hand in the hole. Put her hand in the hole. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> At least she's not going to do the whole I'm going to troll you thing and be like, Aah! Yeah. <laughs> After a second of fiddling in the hole, she, uh, she does like, ew, there's something slimy in here. And then she is like, oh, there's a lever. Click. Alright. Well, that works. Yep. Yes. And since you're you're still up there, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh the rock that the block that just slid into place lifts up and slides back where it came from. Is there a gap in the ceiling now? Yes, there is a hole in the ceiling now. Ooh. Okay. Can I go in the hole? <laughs> sure! <laughs> I must <this>? so. <laughs> can you fit? She can fit her head in it. Alright. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I can think of a lot of things. <laughs> Don't make me come up there and pet me. Because I will. I will turn into a bird, fly up there, and pet you. <laughs> I just want to see how the trap works on the other side. There are a shit ton of blocks up there. But it is also really dark, so it's all lumpy shapes. Okay. I mean, she does she have dark vision? I do not. She does not. Genasi do not have dark vision. They're one of the few weird races that don't have it. Yep. 
What? what? Yep. What is this bullshit? <laughs> yep. If you were a fire genasi, your hair would be lighting the way. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah. Fire genasi's hair I provides dim light. I was basically I was torn between everything except earth, and I ended up going with water because I had tried to play it before and never got to really make use of it, so. All right, well, she kind of like looks around as much as she can. She just kind of like pops back out. She's like, okay, I'm satisfied. I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so after you finally get back to the ground, go through that door. Yeah. Yeah. Go through the door. <laughs> All right. All right, and that lead that little hallway leads to an archway that is blocked by a really nasty looking dude who is looking away from you. Looking in he's looking into the room. Um, uh, not good. Okay. And peeking into the room, it is packed. With creatures. Can we ascertain the nature of these creatures? Well, I mean, we have fought at least one of these guys before, the Grimlocks. Uh huh. So, it's kind of recognizing. It's kind of recognizable. What is that? Who is whistling? Me. <laughs> I was about to, I was like, who is whistling and why? <laughs> She's whistling our dirge, that's what. <laughs> no, I'm whistling to sound innocent. Right. You sound everything but. Does it seem like these guys have noticed us yet? Nope, they have not. Absolutely none of them are looking at the door. Well. Then I'm going to whisper to my companions. Okay, I have a really stupid idea. Back me up. Do I want to know? I think you already know. And I run in. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. To about here. And I need this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and the Mind Flayer to all make con saves. <laughs> okay, so that. Four of the Grimlocks and the Mind Flayer? Yep. All right. Four. Five. Okay.
Mind flare is plus four. Okay. So that is a 13, 20. Fail. Hang on, hang on. One at a time. 13, fail. Okay. And then Next. three 18s. They pass. And a dirty 20. That passes. Mm hmm. Worth it though. <laughs> yep. All right. So let me see if I. I did not name them. Okay, that's fine. I did not mark which one is which. That's fine. It's just a right. room full of right. multiple right. identical right. enemies. Well, from that initial level four thunder wave, that's 25 points of damage. Okay. To the ones who didn't save. That was the one. So, and I'm going to say that's Mind Flayer. Okay. For the rest, it's 12. Okay. And the mind flare is knocked back 10 feet. Okay. So essentially, into the wall. Yeah. Was this guy in range? Yes. Okay. I actually need to make one more. Okay. Uh, that's two of the Grimlocks that actually fail. Because I only rolled five. Dies. Okay. So. So two of the Grimlocks and one of them and the Mind Flayer failed? No. Or? One Grimlock, one Mind Flayer. Okay. I'm done. One, two, three, five, and eight. Okay. All right. The damage, the full damage was 25. Okay. So that guy is the Grimlock that failed the save is dead. Mm -hmm. Bye. And half damage was 12. 12. Okay, the guys that failed the save are also dead. Five down! Yep. <laughs> that certainly cleared out the room a bit. Of course, I used my one fourth level spell, but. Worth it? It was worth it! <laughs> All right. So. All right. I'm gonna say they're well aware of our presence now. <laughs> oh yeah, but we're down to only four enemies in the room, so. Okay. 
So my initiative is a total of 20. Okay. Okay, guys, I see how it is. So, Anahita. 24. Nice. Okay. Ayana is... <sighs> 11. Chule is... That. Candy is 14. Elrin was a dirty 20. The Myrmidon, because he is still up. It hasn't quite been an hour. 14. Okay. And then. Let's. Top of the round is Anahita. <laughs> and I'm going to say that as Elwyn did his thing, Hashtag you've been thunderstruck. <laughs> yeah. Gotta move there. Candy and Chile. Okay. Yeah. Then I am going to catch Porky Ray. Okay. I'm gonna target the two guys like in front of me and to my right there. So for the first one, it's a 17 to hit. That's gonna hit. Alright, so seven damage. Still alive? I. <laughs> uh, Seven damage, yes. Okay, Go ahead and so do your sneak attack, though. On which one are you attacking? Uh, we'll do that on the guy to the right of you there. Okay, this one? Yeah. Okay. He is number five. Okay. That is 12 sneak attacks. Okay, now he's dead. Okay. Alright, so the next one is a dirty 20 to hit. We're gonna do it on the guy straight ahead there. Okay. And that is 11 fire damage. Okay. He is also dead. The okay. guy straight ahead? Oh, then. Yeah, that's the guy straight ahead. And so I guess the last one, last one of this gets to go to Mr. Mind Flare. Okay. That's a 19 to hit. That's gonna hit. That's six fire damage. <laughs> All right. And that is the 
it be my turn. Okay. These Grimlocks, they're not all that tough. <laughs> Why are you stopping? I'm like, the dead are still standing. <laughs> yep. Alright, uh, Chule is going to hold her turn until Ayana moves into the room. Because she can't make the distance to <laughs> hit anybody. Ellen. Um, I'm going to summon a flame blade. Of course. Adding a d6. Mm hmm. Oh, let's see. I don't even know why I'm looking it up. I know what my attack to hit is. Mm hmm. Our buddy, Mr. Mind Player here. Crossbow? No. Flame blade. Already okay. Killed. Oh, yeah. Let's see. One's going to be a 19 to hit. That's going to hit. The other is a dirty 20. Also going to hit. So, on my first. That's going to be, I'll use my dagger guys, that's fine. That's going to be 12 points of fire damage, and four points of radiant damage. Second attack, that's less impressive. Five points of fire damage, and four points of radiant damage. All right. And I added the D6 on casting, so. Yeah. You're fine. And so he's looking kind of rough. Anything else? Um. You know what? I just got it back. I'll do a Titan search. Or oh. uh Action surge. Okay. 23 to hit. Hits. Five. 11 points of fire damage and 5 points of radiant damage. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> And I turn to the camera. Next. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. Anything else on your turn? You've nope. done everything, can't haven't you? Yep. Okay. Dimir okay, Madan. Actually, I'm gonna inspire Anahita. Okay. No, uh, Ayana. I'm okay. gonna inspire Ayana. Okay. She's not gonna get a turn, but okay. <laughs> oh, never mind on the. Because I can almost guarantee if the Myrmidon hits even one of its attacks, this thing yeah. is probably going to die. 
Well, I have sad news. I don't get the fire strike back. It didn't ring for it. Uh, it's okay. Alright, well that's a 15 to hit. Hits. That is 10 damage. Oh yeah. He's looking really rough. He's still barely standing. Oh, it's okay. This is gonna take about a natural 18 to hit. So oh yeah, damage. that that's definitely. Four six damage. <laughs> yep, he's dead. Oh, you mean I can go for the overkill with the 17 to hit with the 5 damage? He's a crispy critter. How about that? <laughs> He's a crispy. He's fried crispy. They're all exterminated. Yep. And I was just like, wow, I didn't even get to punch anything. Or stab anything. Is this how you feel all the time, Candy? <laughs> it's how I feel sometimes. She's like, that's hurtful. Oh, well, I got cake. I'm good. <laughs> it's like, she got cake, caught her cake a second ago, so she's good. We're fine. This is great. Sometimes I'm sure there will other be, there will be other cultist infested rooms that you can just clear out before anyone else has a chance. Yeah. And I forgot to put that hallway there. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. By the way, where the hell are we? We're, I think, in that room. Like, you see the big room in the center? Mm-hmm. I believe we're in the one just to the left there that, like, is kind of in between two other rooms. Ah. Which yeah. is actually where we want to be. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite the last room, but besides the boss room. Well, do we want to clear out this room? Might as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the task is to clear this place out. So. Yeah. That's essentially the task. All right. So. One second. All right. Uh, there is. It's not. I mean, it's not on. Like, I, I, I just revealed it on the map. But there's. Um, there is a door without a handle. And without a lock, without a lock hole, but it is not moving. Hmm. It is stuck into place, and it is made out of iron, so it cannot be burned. Hmm. All right, everyone, back up. It's this door, right? The door on the north wall. I'm yeah. looking, I'm looking, I'm working on, I'm looking at a different room. So, hold on. Oh. Yeah, up top that goes off into the edge of the map. Into nowhere. Yeah. That one up there on the top um, of the map. I was thinking about clearing out this room first. We've already been there. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a cast. You know what I'm gonna cast. Yep. Level three. So that's forty eight. For a wonderfully impressive ten. Okay, uh, and the door is knocked off the hinges. Um, I'm actually going to have to move y'all to the big map. Uh, I, will, I will be right back. I'm going to have to move y'all to the big map. Hold on. Big map, yay! Yep. Okay. All right. So, yep. Yeah, the door gets knocked right, like right about there, into the wall. Huh. Okay. So, going into the hall, to the left looks like a dead end. Yes, I am aware that the map has stairs on it. We're getting to that. To the right is a little bit of a labyrinth. Oh, fun. Yep. I say a little bit because it jogs left and then there's another jog, but that goes to a door that if we were to kind of try and figure out it probably it's one of those it probably goes back into a room that we've already cleared out. Uh -huh. And then the next left turn after that is a iron door that is locked. So once Rachel, oh, you know, I need your expertise. Once she gets back, we'll. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and work on that page of the map real quick. Okay. And summon elemental lasts for an hour, and I'm going to say that by the time we get to this room, the hour is up. So, Herminion.
is bye bye. Alright. Okay. Um we have come to a locked door and your minion has dissipated. Plus his hours his hours up. Alright. It's a locked door. Yep. Maintain. Yep. Alright, thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> Why? How bad was it? That one. Oh, your lock pick breaks, babe. Uh, too bad we don't have a mending wheel. It's okay. It's okay. It's not like you just fought me. <laughs> Do you want to try again? Sure. What's the worst that can happen? Losing another lockpick? Fuck you. What happened? What do you think happened? Another not one? Yes. Oh my god! And it busts in there and it's like... Maybe we should find a different tactic. Alright, I'm gonna heat up, move, and wanna have to do this. But it seems we have no choice. I'm only gonna cast it at. I'm gonna cast it at first level this time. Okay. You know the worst part is I'm just sitting here going, if I had Tides of Chaos still, that would be nice. But no, I used it for the day. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm impressive. Seven thunder damage. That's what I get for casting it at level one. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. So, <laughs> unfortunately, this also alerts the creatures in the room. One of which gets smacked in the face with the flying door. <laughs> yep. So what are we dealing with? An Efriti and a Salamanda. Both are fire. I know. Oh, screw you. <laughs> I know. Okay. So, roll for initiative. Both are fire based, so. Okay. Okay. Total of 20. All right. On here. 21. Ooh. Hi, Candy. Anahita is top of the round.
crit. And I'm going to assume that you're closer to the door to the door hole. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And uh, we moved back to avoid the thunder wave, but we're rushing in. Yep. Yep. So that's 13 regular damage and 6 acid. Okay. On the Ifriti or the Salamander? I'll go with the Salamander. Okay. So it was damage? 13 regular and 6 acid. Okay. And sneak that's attack? Nice. All right. What else? Sadly, the other one is going to miss, but the nat one. Oh. Continues that oh. one. Yikes. <laughs> That's a yikes. So. Okay. okay. Are so you it's balanced out by the nat 20. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Which enemy were you aiming at? With that? Probably would have aimed at the salamander again. Okay. Tuck. Under. So, um, hey! Bless you. I'm going to say your dagger is embedded in the wall right about there. Great. You can look all it back. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to be my turn. <laughs> that amazing and done terribly in the same turn. Yeah. Elwyn. All right. Um, being as I can't do jack with my frickin' uh, fine then. <laughs> I will go for the Afridi. Okay. Roll me a con save. DC 15. Okay. Okay. So that is a 15. Ah, damn it. Fine. Then it just takes the uh, 44 plus 3. Or the 1d4 plus 3. Damn it. Okay. And that is 7 points of piercing damage. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Because charging my Venom Dagger is one action. Yeah. <sighs> Give me just a second. Okay. All right. Ayana. I need a plus okay, charging five. First of all, Ayana is going to move into the room proper 
and then she is going to use her bonus action to cast Spirit Shroud. That is an additional D8 damage. Right. And then she's also going to, as an action, cast Spirit Guardians at third level and have them attack the Afriti. <laughs> That's probably going to fail. Okay. Yes. He, well, fine. Six. Yeah, he still failed this. He failed the same thing. So that's going to be <laughs> 48 damage. Okay, so that is a... Okay. Then she's going to wilt her spirit shroud to leap out and attack it. And that's going to hit. Boom. Boom. And that is five points of damage. Not as impressive as it could be, but we'll get to the impressiveness in a second. Candy is going to not full on charge into the room, but she is going to move into the room. Yeah, right there. And she is going to cast Frostbite. Well, first she's going to splash the Salamander. And then she's going to basically control her, basically water, essentially water bend, shape water, splash the shit out of it. And then, unfortunately it passes the saving throw. But it is wet. <laughs> <laughs> and the all of the water is kind of what was trying to freeze over, but the heat from the salamander does not make that stick. But I still got splashes. Yep.
And that is essentially her turn. Okay. So the Efriti. Oh, yay. Yeah. This asshole. All right. <laughs> no, we're not going to use that. Okay. So it is going to hurl, fl he's going to stay where he is and hurl flame. He's basically going to be throwing a couple of fireballs at the door. And what's the point of this? Okay. He's specifically aiming at Ayana. So, yeah. And that is, nope, yes, one of his attacks is going to hit, and that is 17 fire damage. All right, and that is its turn. Chule is going to jump off of Ayana's shoulder, and as she's going, yep. Now if I can find the thing. Okay, there we go. Is she going dragon? She going dragon. Wait. Call it. Dragon. This time though, she's going a little bit bigger. Adult. Young. Mm. There's no, there's not enough room for an adult. For an adult white dragon. Like, there's barely yeah, room. Barely, there's barely room for a young white dragon. And as Dr. Dragon said, word, now let's get this party started old school, yo. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about that quote is they were trying to make us think like an old, old fogey. Yeah. And it worked. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. She is going to... Cold breath this little bitch. And in point of fact, she could actually she can actually hit both of them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because it's a thirty foot cone. She can catch both of them in it. Nice. All right. So that is a Constitution saving throw. Why? 
Do you betray me like this, guys? Why? They both rolled nat 20s. Oh! That's fine. It still does plenty of damage. Any more deeds? The eights. So. And they're vulnerable to it, aren't they? If I'm not mistaken, they are. No. Will you click the right? It doesn't say, mm. but I'm going to say that they are because. Fire does not like water or ice. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, that's ten D eight damage. So even with it being halved. All right, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, divided by 2 is 25. That is still pretty substantial. Especially given the their vulnerability to ice kind of cancels out their nat 20 critical save. Uh -huh. The salamander is like really, really frosty and really, really rough looking. Oh. All right. And she can still make two claw attacks. So she gonna go for it. But seven. Okay. Yeah, both claw attacks are going to hit. And that is 2d6 plus 4, so technically 4d6 because both attacks hit. points of damage. That is Chule's turn. It is now the salamander who is going to try and defrost himself.
and fails to defrost himself. So, um, okay, he's going to expend both of his attacks attempting to free himself, and he does manage after a little bit of wiggling to get his tail free hmm. of the ice. Because he has been doused in water, so that kind of coupled with the cold breath was just like ice. <laughs> Anahita. Alright. We're gonna try and dagger dagger. It's just salamander. Okay. Okay. Not bad for the first one. It hit. That's that's eight four to hit. Oh yeah, that definitely hits. Five damage. Dead. Alright, I guess I'll hit the other one. The other dagger. Okay. Which actually works out because it doesn't have 20. Nice. So that is 10 damage. Alright. Yeah, we'll call that a turn. Okay. Part was like, should I get up close? And I'm like, you don't have any first level spells left. You can't do it more abilities. That's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else? No, that'll be it. Owen, your turn. Oh, because I went so well last time. Remind me when I level up my. Bard stabs that I need to take frickin' ice spells. <laughs> to right, counter I'll your... Or Count water spells. Water or ice. Yeah, to counter the fact that we have a tendency to bump into fire creatures. Yeah. Although I don't believe I get a spell with this next level. Fox! We shall see. Anyways, your turn. Ah, uh, vicious crossbow. Yep. 17 to hit. That is going to hit. For nine piercing damage. And going again. Ooh, even better. 24 to hit. Nice. For seven. Okay. Anything else? That's it. All right. Ayana is going to... Pop around and okay. Her spirit guard, she's gonna have a spirit guardian's attack the Ifriti again. It passes the saving throw, which is a boo, but it still takes damage. All right. And both of her physical attacks hit. So. Pull up her spells. Alright. Spirit Guardians do 48 damage. In this case, divided by 2. Okay. 
23 divided by 2. And then I need another d10. Okay. Plus eight. Okay. So that is a grand total of thirty four points of damage. And that is her turn. Okay. Candy. going to step away from the little bit of a crowd that, that's going on over here. And she is going to Yeah, she's going to cast Entangle to try and restrain him so that he can't dodge or anything. He fails the saving throw, so he is restrained. And then she's going to hmm. Yeah. Cast poison spray on him. Which he fails that save the saving throw too. So all right. Um. Oh, would help if I rolled the correct dice for the damage. Because that is the D twelve. Three of them, in fact. On a failed set, a failed con save, it takes three d twelve damage. That guy went sideways. Okay. For eight, seven is fifteen. And that is her turn. The Ifriti for his turn is going to attempt and fail to break free of the entanglement. Thus remaining restrained, he's going to slice at Chule. Fortunately, succeeds. But only does 20 points of damage.
well, let's see. 13 regular, 7 fire. So. Alright. And that is his turn. Chule is going to one unfortunately not get her ice breath back but she does make three attacks so one, two, three. No, yes, yes. All right, so one bite attack, her bite attack, and one of her claw attacks hit. For the fight attack is 2d10 plus a d8. Yep, he is dead. Stop combat and delete. Okay. So the room is clear. Alright. Huzzah. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say go ahead and long rest. Yes, please. Yes, please. Ayana's out of spells. I think I heat is out of spells. I'm not out of all my spells, but I definitely take out a good chunk and uh, heat up all my other abilities. Do we want to roll up the ten marina points? You may as well. So that's going to be 2d10. Give me just a second. Alright. That is 8 points of temporary hit points. Yep. Uh. 
All right. So next week. Yeah, I will. We will see you all next week. So, bye. All right.